Welcome to the Planar Video Wall Calculator. This free online tool allows you to configure and compare between our various LED and LCD video wall products. It also allows you to view and export detailed specifications, cable routing diagrams, and mounting drawings. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, there are three different ways to start configuring a video wall. The most basic option is to jump right in by using the Start Here button. Lower on the screen, we offer an option to start your design by utilizing one of our pre-configured video wall designs. These are comprised of our most popular display configurations. And over here we have the Load a Save Project tab. This allows you to continue editing a design that you have previously saved. Now let's get started with a new project. Right away you'll be presented with the option to view our guided walkthrough. But since I'm going to take you through the site today, I'm just going to hit exit, but this is a valuable resource if you need a bit more instruction. In the canvas area, the black menu bar contains your project details. You have your project name, access to the home screen, reset design, my projects, save project, export, and request a quote. Everything below in this light gray menu bar deals with the current project that you're in. To the left, you have your design configurations, where you can add up to three designs per project. Your view options are here. Right now, we're looking at the video wall editor. This is where you'll build your video walls. Next, we have the design drawing, which displays a mounting bracket structure, the mounting points, and a set of dimensions for your video wall. Following that, we have the power cabling diagram, which illustrates the recommended power cable routing for your video wall. And finally, we have the video cabling diagram, which shows the recommended video cable routing. From there, we have our specifications. This is where you get all your detailed data on the wall that you've configured. And then you can choose whether you want to work in feet or meters. Down in the lower left, we have your advanced video wall setup room setup, and content setup tabs, which will further help you customize and visualize your video wall design. And finally, in the lower right, we have the canvas tools. These allow you to zoom out or in, reset the scale and position of your canvas, and then you can show or hide the video wall dimensions. Some of the more useful features of the video wall calculator are the canvas tools. With the simple touch of a few buttons, you can now quickly edit your video wall design right on the canvas. You can add or subtract displays, choose a different product or model, and then position your video wall anywhere within your room. If you're not happy with the position, just move it or use this button in the lower right to reset the video wall design back to the center. These canvas tools can be accessed simply by clicking directly on the display or hidden by clicking anywhere on the canvas area. So let's start a second design configuration. I'll use the video wall setup tab in the lower left menu area to access the more advanced configuration options. Here you may set the product and model you want to configure. For clarity matrix, for example, you can force a 16 by nine aspect ratio, change between landscape and portrait, Select between four different standard configuration methods and specify whether you want 120 or 220 power voltage. Your distance from the video wall to offboard electronics has now been split into two different dimensions for expanded functionality. You can specify if you want a 9 output or 4 output video controller. You can also add fiber, multi touch, arrow, and redundant power. And don't forget, once your configuration is set up, you can view the specification details here. So let's start a third design configuration. The Room Setup tab opens up the controls for editing your room layout. Setting auto room size will automatically adjust the room size to your video wall. You may also input your custom room dimensions here. To help visualize your video wall in a specific environment, 
you may select from this drop-down list of supplied options. And this option allows you to show or hide a person to add scale to your setup. A great feature here is the ability to upload a custom room photo to help you get a preview of the way your video wall might look in your actual space. First-time users can refer to the Show Me How button to go through a guided walkthrough to learn how to use this tool, but I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. I have a photograph saved in my computer of my room environment, so I'm going to select Add Custom Image and select my photo from my desktop. Next, I'm going to set the width and height of my room's wall dimensions. In this case, I know my wall is 23 feet wide by 12 and a half feet tall. You'll want to make sure you have pretty accurate dimensions of the physical wall in your photo, just to ensure that the screen size is represented as accurately as possible. Then I need to scale and position the wall outline to match the edges of the installation wall in my photo. This wall size ratio is determined by the physical dimensions you've entered, so be as accurate as possible when entering the physical wall dimensions. Once the wall outline is lined up, I'll click Done, and then I'll be able to see the video wall I've configured superimposed over my uploaded environment photo and make any changes necessary. If you're not happy with your photo, you can select Edit or Delete and then start over. The Content Setup tab is where you can select preloaded screen content images, You may also upload your own content to view on your video wall designs. Once you have gone through the video wall design setup process, you can save your configuration by clicking on the Save Project button in the top right. Here you can give your project a title and add a client name. These project attributes will be utilized in the PDF export feature to personalize your project documentation. To access a list of your saved projects, click on My Projects to view all of your previously saved projects. Each project has the following options. Edit Project Info, Load Project, Share Project Link, and Delete Project. The very top of this list is where you can access and edit your account settings or log out of your account. Beyond saving and emailing your project, we also offer a number of ways to export your video wall project for documentation and communication. The first option, PDF Summary, will generate a detailed PDF document containing your video wall configuration specifications, images, design drawings, and cable diagrams. Additionally, if you had previously saved your project with a title and client name, these custom attributes will be added to the PDF, allowing you to create a personalized PDF. The second option, Images, will generate image files for your video wall configurations for designs 1, 2, and 3. And the third option, Excel, allows you to export your video wall configurations and specifications data into a standard XLS format. And finally, the Request a Quote option will forward us your project and contact information, and one of our Planar sales representatives will follow up on your project request. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to helping you with your video wall design needs.